Hello, nice to meet you engineers. My name is Eddie Hong and I'm in charge of technical support and sales in the structure and building field. There are many webinars related to structure and buildings this year. We have prepared a lot to help your project. Thank you for your interest and participation. As previously announced, today's topic is guidelines for precast concrete structures. So let's get started. The tables of content consists of three parts. You can also look at the recent trends in precast concrete structures. And I will show you these latest con precast concrete structures by using Midas Gen in Chapter 3. Let's review an example to see how we can apply it in a project. Chapter 1 will give general information for those who are not familiar with precast concrete structures. Precast concrete is different from general reinforced concrete and let's take a look at what types and design concept it has. If you look up the definition of Wikipedia, you will find this explanation. To summarize, the essential points are the following two. The first one is that method of con construction and a construction material. The second one is that a building or structure being assembled from a number of identical or similar components which are cast in location other than their final position in the structure. The most significant feature of precast concrete structures is that various members are prefabricated. Of course, the pre-production place is the factory, as you can see in the picture. We can generate the consistent quality of precast concrete members in a factory. In addition, it has the advantage of shortening the production period by making it 24 hours a day, regardless of the weather. The members and structures manufactured in this way are moved to the site using transportation such as a large trailer. At this time, the crane lifts all members and these actions are also considered for both structural engineers and precasters in the design step. When considered moving to the construction type site, we go through the lifting process to be considered. These precast concrete structures have many advantages. Improve buildability, increase productivity, structurally more efficient, reduced total construction time, better quality, wider choice of architectural expression, less critical to weather changes. It seems that using precast concrete for general construction is more effective than using available RC materials. Dr. Kim S. and Dr. Elliot's books also quantify the economic effect of precast concrete structures. Although there are many advantages and economic effects, why is the general brain post concrete structures still being used more than precast concrete structure? 
There are many reasons, but it is probably because of each country's different environment and system. As there are still not many pretest cases in skyscrapers or high-rise structures, we need to improve structure safety and support systems and laws. Nevertheless, the pretest market is steadily reflecting its value and the size of developed market is growing. And in recent years, the number of cases applied to practice is increasing due to technical advances such as modular construction method and 3D printing. The composition of traditional precast concrete structure is as shown in the figure. Various precast members such as main beam, column, wall, stair have the same shape and system as reinforced concrete and general structures. However, the most significant difference is that the construction method and cross-sectional shape are different. You can see the state in which beam and the slab are constructed in the picture. The most common form of a beam in precast is inverted T cross section, not rectangular section. And due to the step difference, various precast cross sections such as L tie can be used as beams. Similarly, various beams and slab forms are pictured. In particular, we can often use hollow core slabs or double T slabs. So far, we have looked at how precast is different from general RC structures. The design concept is different and various types and cross-sectional shapes. So what role do structural engineers play in designing these PC structures and to what extent should developed categories be held accountable. As shown in the table, the structure engineer will be in charge of structure design, member design, and joint design, etc., and will play a role including other drawings and calculations for laws. However, these are some countries where precaster designers, member, or joint design by government. As mentioned earlier, the most significant difference between reinforced concrete and precast concrete design is the continuity of structure. Precast concrete beam designed for partial continuity over internal support as a single member. So in this case, it is necessary to analyze the boundary condition by setting the pin condition at both ends. Of course, some members are supported as a single member, and there are members where it is continuously connected. When designing members and planning their layout, this should be considered when analyzing the entire member system it ultimately becomes a significant consideration for the stability and overall structure. In addition to continuity of structure members, the essential part of precast concrete is the joint design and the design of precast concrete member itself. The joint position can be divided into three types based on the frame system. The part where the foundation and the column meet, where the beam and the column meet, and where the column and the column meet, the figure shows various cases of these joints and 
examples. Unlike generous concrete structures, since the design results may vary depending on the joint settings of these joints, the design of the joint should be performed separately. Even when designing a precast concrete structure, there is a preliminary design stage and final design stage. In the preliminary design stage, not only structural safety review, but also a series of manufacturing processes and plans for members, transportation, and movement plans to move them, and construction methods or sequences at the site. We must consider the lifting plan and securing safety for lifting. In the final design stage, it is essential to review the road, determine the system modeling method, and set correct boundary conditions. We should review the safety of the displacement, stress, and member forces. And also, we should finalize the drawing for the design. Chapter 1 explained the traditional and common precast structures and components. Recently, we can diversify with the modular building structure method rather than the frame system. I can say that it is the latest trend in a more advanced way. Most countries tend to introduce more and more such modular precast system. Chapter 2 will cover these modular methods in more detail and talk about them through domestic and foreign examples. The picture on the right is the most common type of box type model structure. Modular precast concrete structure is a structure layered by stacking such modular systems. Precaster produced the box-shaped unit at the factory. It is a construction method transport with various components to build a building by combining these units in the field. This modular system is divided into frame stud type and bearing wall type like the existing precast. The most significant difference between the two types is that they are identical in a box shape, but whether they are composed of beam and columns and the resistance to load is determined by the stud world. When the number of family members increase the, in the future, the modular structure will be applied to various residential facilities. We can expect a way to respond to the housing problem in the case of modular architecture in Korea, there are still not many real cases other than schools and military facilities. Overseas, we can use it for more diverse residential purposes such as house, dormitories, and offices. The modular system is most commonly seen in Germany and Singapore and is mainly used for buildings with about five stories. In particular, the modular construction method is beneficial because it can be used efficiently and can be reused even during extension. Overseas systems have been developed to suit the characteristics of each country and buildings for various purposes have been constructed. If you look at the case, there are buildings for various purposes such as mid to low rise commercial buildings, apartment houses, dormitories, and high rise modular buildings constructed by complex construction methods. 
There are many British engineers among the webinar attendees, so that I will tell you about the current state of UK modular architecture system. There is no separate regulation related to modular construction or off-site construction in the UK construction laws. As a result, there is no national level of improvement associated with the performance of modular buildings. Therefore, the Building Act is common law related to the structure and construction of buildings in the UK. In addition, you must comply with, with the specifies of 1984 and the relevant building codes enforcement ordinance, the 2010 building regulation. In the UK, the certification process, including modular construction, takes a lot of time and BOPAS is used because of the burden of the application fee. BOPAS is a scheme established to guarantee products and processes for 60 years of industrialized housing use in the UK to facilitate. In Singapore, to increase construction productivity and fundamentally transform design and construction processes, the BCA encouraged adopting a model building approach. PPVC supports this concept and refers to the off-site constru construction method identical to the modular construction method. When building a building made of PPVC in Singapore, introduce the PPVC MAS certification system, and that is mandatory to obtain certification. You can easily check all mat matters related to PPVC on the BCA website, and please note. In Chapter 1 and Chapter 2, we looked at the design concept for precast and rated trend modular architecture concept. Chapter 3 discusses the traditional precast concrete system and the recent modular system method. In terms of modeling and analysis, I will explain what points to pay attention to and apply using gen. First, the boundary condition for the lower part of column is setting for the pin condition and the section offset is reflect for the center button. We can easily apply to set the connecting sidewalk pin point and put the center button option on the gen in the section offset. If we plan to pour additional co concrete, we should consider another working world. Likewise, at this time, the connection between the PC slab and beam and both ends of the column become the pin connection. I have previously explained about other pouring concrete. For the additional pour concrete, we should review the support for the working load. And also, we should apply the modeling and the construction stage analysis. Plus, another thing to note is that the slab and beam change to a fixed joint after pouring the concrete. However, the joint of both ends of the column will still be a pin connect. When constructing a precast structure of bracket type, 
supports the beam members. When modeling the bracket shape in general, it is common to apply modeling in the form of a ring. So define the rigid ring as much as bracket length. Then connection with beam and link. The beam is also pin connection. Similarly, both ends of the column are pin joint. And the beam applies the center bottom option so that the section offset is applied. We will calculate member force considering the eccentricity in the analysis. We can summarize the modeling and analysis issues like five things below. Column buckling lens, lateral force resistance system, design for the diaphragm, definition of appropriate boundary conditions, design for joint detail. So far, we have talked about modeling techniques, considerations for analysis, and modeling tips using GEN for traditional precast system structures. From now on, let's take a look at the modular construction method, which is one of the most recent precast system structures. Let's break down our modular analysis and design approach into 10 steps. First, you are looking at a picture of modeling one unit model, which is most basic unit of the modular. We modeled rigid ring for primary flow road input and connection between modules. We can consider making a dummy element when the upper and lower parts meet in the modular system. The reason is to automatically calculate and reflect the load on the floor for horizontal loads such as earthquake and wind loads. It is necessary to accurately measure the load input at the part when the connection, but it is possible to review the safety of entire modular system. You will also be able to make a design of the joint part more clear. After modeling one module, the next step is to model the module-to-module -module connection through the copy function. The H-shaped ring, rigid link shown in the lower right corner has been modeled as much as the space of the precisely connected part. The central load of part H will eventually correspond to the center of each layer. The core wall exists on the right side in the current modeling and the frame system is on the lowermost part. The modulars are stacked on top of each other to form the final system. A rigid link or rigid element connects all upper and lower parts. When connecting the upper modular structure, to the lower structure. When connecting the upper modular structure to the lower structure, we utilize the merge data function in MetasGen. It is easy to control modeling one by one in one file. 
The Borgi fire function was used to model the modular system separately from other model files and merge them into one modeling file. We can collect such complex structures as one file or manage large modeling files in different separately. This is a helpful function when finally merging into one model. After merging all individual modules, modeling completes the entire modular system by using the copy function. The process of manufacturing these modules in the factory and loading them on large trailers and in the final installation process at the construction site, the lift-up and erection process must be performed using a crane. It is necessary to perform a separate analysis due to the tension of the crane. This is to review the module's safety to see if it deforms during the moving process and determine whether such deformation is permanent or short-term deformation. This is not necessarily applicable only to modular structures, and it is must do when moving traditional precast members or lifting up and down with a crane. As mentioned earlier, the revel will be set at the middle node of the rigid link. In the modular method, all the parts surrounding the box-shaped modular were modeled as plate element separately for the effects of floor diaphragm it was set as do not consider now that the layers are defined we calculate the seismic load of the code base provided by Midas Gen. In the corresponding load dialog box, set each parameter according to the environment of the site. The sizing load in the final input form is input by replacing it with a nodal load at each node existing in the floor. Wind load is input in the same way as earthquake load. After inputting the load, set the load combination and perform the analysis. Analysis results confirm fundamental reaction forces, stresses, and displacements such as typical reinforced mount concrete structures or traditional precast concrete structures. Check to see if any abnormal results have occurred and determine where the structure receives the most force. Also, check the member force of each beam, plate, and wall element. Again, this is to determine adequacy before the final design stage. To examine the strength of the joint by tensile force, check the deformation of the bottom plate in the lateral load. Check the tension part and compression part in the whole structure and determine the tensile and compressive forces at the joint. Please check the actual and shear forces of the joint area. And we have to review the tension and compression force by horizontal action for bottom plates. It is for the final design safety review of the joint part. Midas Gen can also perform shearing keys analysis over time in modular architecture. Each set 
the material settings and strengths over time. It is necessary to perform construction stage analysis and material setup. For convenience, we will check the time setting at the installation time after one month and after three years. The first figure is stress change for examining cracks in the concrete due to shrinkage. The figure below is a figure that also confirms the actual force for examination of the joint due to shrinkage. The last step will explain the design of the members for the modular itself. Of course, each precast member must go through all design reviews before the modular itself. We have to consider the member design, modular design, safety of the system, and review the connection. And even the review of the lifting and pitching for movement should all be okay. Returning to the modular member design again, set the slab domain corresponding to the upper and lower parts of the module and the wall domain corresponding to the vertical component. The ultimate goal of setting up domain is to estimate how much rebar data required for that domain. To determine the river arrangement for slab and wall types of the module, set the reinforcing bar information for each load combination and member. If you click the slab flexure design function among the meshed slab options, we can confirm the required river and place it automatically. My desk can calculate the final resistance ratio with this data. Similarly, by clicking the wall design function among the meshed slab options, it automatically calculates the horizontal and vertical reinforcement of the wall. Finalize the design for the module by determining the final resistance ratio. So far, I have explained how to make a model and perform the analysis for precast concrete structures. If you have any question about today's topic, please email us at the address below. We will have many webinars in the near future, so please come to our webinars and get the information. Okay, I would like to finish today's webinar. Have a great day.